Hey Internet, my name is John, and I am in Chicago where the current temperature is 21 degrees, and I don't really like this intro, so I think I might change it. So the Oscar nominations happened a few days ago. Thought I'd talk about it. Each year when the nominations come out, I always have the same complaint, and that's that I never get around to seeing about 80% of the films that have been nominated, and this year is no different. I won't cover all the categories, but I'll talk about the main ones, and then some other things that I feel like throwing in. There were a ton of animated features this year, and the Academy whittled it down to the standard five. Brave. Frank and Weedy. Paranormal, Pirates, Band of Misfits, Wreck-It Ralph. In this category, I saw Brave and Wreck-It Ralph. Brave was enjoyable, not Pixar's best, but not its worst either. Uh, I heard Paranorman was supposed to be really good, but after seeing Wreck-It Ralph, I don't see how anything can even come close, so that's my pick. Best costume design is often overrun with period pieces, and this year is no exception. Anna Karenina, Les Miserables, Lincoln, Mirror Mirror, Snow White and the Huntsman. Of these movies, I have only seen Les Miserables. From the trailers of the other movies, the opinion that I've formed is that period pieces have a lot of muted colors, and it's kind of boring. Uh, so I'm hoping that Mirror Mirror takes this one with its bright, bold palette. The best animated short category is probably one of the toughest. Every year they manage to find some of the most poignant, most creative, most original ideas. And every year they manage to outdo themselves. Adam and Dog, Fresh Guacamole, Head Over Heels, Maggie Simpson in The Longest Day Care, Paper Man. Unfortunately, two of these films only have trailers online. I'll put links in the one to look. To be honest, I don't know which one is my favorite. I think I might be leaning towards the two that only have trailers. I think they have the most potential of winning. I think it might be Adam and Dog that gets it. The acting awards are where I start to become a little bit less well-versed. Best Actress in a Supporting Role. Amy Adams, Sally Field, Anne Hathaway, Helen Hunt, Jackie Weaver. As I have only seen Les Miserables of the movies in this category, I can verify that Anne Hathaway was such a pleasant surprise after the severe letdown of a trailer. Big musical dork. And I simply cannot unsee Sally Field as Nora Walker after watching all five seasons of Brothers and Sisters. However, Amy Adams has been consistently nominated five times in the past seven years, and I think it's time she won. Best Actor in a Supporting Role. As Emma Stone pointed out in the nomination announcement, all five of these people have won before, and I have seen zero of the movies in this category, so I don't care. Best Actor in a Leading Role. Bradley Cooper. Daniel Day-Lewis. Hugh Jackman. Joaquin Phoenix. Denzel Washington. Again. Only saw ladies. So here's my uninformed opinion on this one. I'm just gonna go ahead and say this, and some of you are gonna hate me for it, but for whatever reason, I don't like Daniel Day-Lewis or Denzel Washington. I enjoyed Hugh Jackman, uh, but I think I'd like to see Bradley Cooper get this one. I'm a sucker for an underdog. Best Actress in a Leading Role. Jessica Chastain, Naomi Watts, Emmanuel Riva, Jennifer Lawrence. Benjamin A. Wallace. This is the category that is making news oldest and youngest nominees in history. I'm going to go ahead and root for the nine-year-old with the impossible to spell without looking at the internet name. Amour, Argo, Beasts of the Southern Wild, Django Unchained, Les Miserables, Life of Pi, Lincoln, Silver Linings Playbook, Zero Dark. Okay, okay, enough. It's gotten to the point where this once prestigious honor isn't even relevant anymore. Bring it back to five, Academy. I know there's only nine this year instead of ten like before, but I mean seriously. I feel like it makes the nomination less special if there's more nominees in that category. Oh, I get nominated for Best Picture. Big deal. So did every other movie ever. Back to the point. I think Lincoln will get it, but since I like an underdog so much, I'll go ahead and vote for... Beasts of the Southern Wild. Seth MacFarlane is host. I don't hate it. I love him, but his deliveries at the nomination announcement just didn't feel like they fit in with the vibe. Could have been that it was 5 a.m., who knows. Who are your picks for this year's Oscars? Any performances that you think should have been nominated and weren't? Let me know in the comments. That's all for now, hooligans. See you next time. And as always, don't forget to be awesome.